Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well today. This is an old gameplay I've had on my computer for probably two or three months. It is a team tactical domination on the map Rust. The other team was the biggest bunch of scumbags noob tubing non-stop the whole time. So excuse the, you know, quite a few number of deaths, especially right at the beginning of the game. I couldn't get anything going. They had me in a spawn trap and they had noob tubes everywhere. However, at one point I just get so pissed off and frustrated from getting noob tubed that I just turn it on and go ham and absolutely destroy the lobby. So I think you guys will enjoy this. It's a fast paced game and I just crush everybody. But I wanted to talk about pack mentality and give you guys some examples and talk about one of the best examples I've seen in, in a long time of this and that is the recent viral video that has happened with the uh, New York City biker gang versus the guy in the Range Rover. Now, if you haven't seen this video, I suggest you watch it. I'll link it in the description. Go go watch this video so you know what the hell's happening. But I'll kind of give you guys a brief synopsis and then give you guys a brief, uh, you know, explanation of my thoughts and opinions on this, along with some other examples. Now, when I say pack mentality, basically what I'm saying is a group of people who gang up on, you know, anybody or any other group of people and what happens is with this pack mentality is everybody starts doing the same thing and nobody really takes any uh, responsibility for it or thinks about any individual repercussions because it's kind of like well everybody else was doing it sort of like if your parents you know use that old saying like oh if, if Timmy jumped off a bridge would you jump off a bridge too it's just like in grade school whenever there's a group of bullies bullying one kid nobody thinks about that as an individual repercussion nobody says oh you know maybe I'll get in trouble by my teachers or principal for bullying this kid or oh maybe I'll feel bad about it later everybody just says well everybody else is doing it I'm just gonna jump on and have that pack mentality think about a pack of wild wolves you know if there's a piece of meat out there if there's a dead deer they're all gonna jump on it and just start eating it and destroying it like I said a pack mentality they're not gonna think about anything except for getting that food and that's exactly what happens in a pack mentality situation you have a group of people who start doing one thing and nobody thinks about any repercussions any of the you know responsibility of themselves as individuals and this was great payback right here just picking up that guy's tube and noob tubing that cunt back but you know back to what I was saying you know nobody thinks about what the individual repercussions of something like this are everybody just sort of goes off and does their own thing because they you know are in that pack mindset now with that being said you have to look at the recent happenings with the biker gang now what basically happened was there was a biker gang driving around the streets in New York City and they cut this dude off that was driving a Range Rover and they brake checked the hell out of him meaning they jammed on their brakes right in front of him. So this guy jammed on his brakes and barely t accidentally bumped the back bumper of one of the bikers. So all of a sudden this caused a shit fit between all these bikers and they got really pissed off. And what happened is the whole thing's caught on camera from a helmet cam of one of the guys in the biker gang. However, at this point in the video, you can't really tell what's going on. So they, I read some different articles on this to, to understand better what happened. And they, what they did was they started smashing his car with their helmets and with their fists. They tried to pull open the door of the car, and then they started slashing this guy's tires. So he got scared. He was under duress, and he took off and gunned his SUV. Now, what ended up happening was during this commotion and during him trying to evade these guys, he basically accidentally ran over a biker in his bike, unfortunately breaking both of this guy's legs and probably he's going to paralyze this guy for life then what happens is he takes off he's driving away he's trying to get away from these guys but they continue to follow him they're speeding up when he speeds up they slow down when he slows down i, I couldn't tell you where the hell the cops are in this whole situation because they're nowhere to be freaking found which is ridiculous in itself but anyways so he tries to get away and all of a sudden he gets closer into downtown and gets stuck in traffic well then they proceed to smash his his vehicle smash the windows they ended up pulling him out of the car and the video stops at this point but like i said i read reviews they pull him out of the vehicle and basically beat this guy and slash his chest with a knife in his hands and his arms because he was trying to protect himself and this guy ended up having to go to the hospital now you can say what you want 
But not only was this guy scared himself, he was with his wife and two-year-old daughter. So imagine if you were with your family and a group of bikers came and started doing that to you. You'd be scared shitless too. Number one, I think that the cops should have been there in a better position. Number two, I think this guy would have been really well off if he would have, would own a, a gun because he could have just showed that gun and that's going to deter a lot of people. But I was reading comments from people on these, you know, some of these YouTube videos and some of these uh, blogs and different things about this particular instance. And there's so many ridiculous comments. Number one, people are blaming this guy in the Range Rover saying he's a rich asshole who lives a luxury lifestyle. How does, what does that have anything to do with anything? That has no bearing on the situation whatsoever. The mother of the kid that got paralyzed because he got run over was saying that this guy is a rich asshole who he's living this luxury lifestyle and he doesn't care about people who have tattoos and, and ride motorcycles. This is the most ass backwards comment I've ever heard. Your son is involved in this basically, you know, domestic terrorism where he's pretty much, you know, terrorizing this family. Like, what do you expect to happen? You can't act like an asshole and not have repercussions. And that's where the pack mentality sets in is nobody thinks about the individual repercussions. They think everybody's doing it. So I don't have to worry about myself. And that gets people into trouble a lot of times. And I think that this situation turned out terribly for all parties involved. I mean, you're t like I said, you're talking about somebody died. Many people were sent to the hospital. The one guy's probably going to be paralyzed. Then you're talking about all the you know collateral damage that could have happened. It's just really bad. I think people need to take more responsibility for their own actions and quit being such assholes whenever it comes to that group or pack mentality. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you soon. Let me know what you think. Take it easy.